I absolutely cannot believe this is actually happening right now. What the heck is going on, guys? Oh my god, this is actually happening. <laughs> Uh, hi, uh, we're doing home Pokemon Sword, and you can tell that I'm not prepared, and I'm super s nervous, because I don't even have my light on, my god, John, your light is important, it's important, you gotta let me the light of your life, but no, you forgot to freaking turn it on, because of course you do, because I'm stressed, and super extremely worried about what's to come in Pokemon Sword, because uh, I tried to do shield and then I just gave up doing shield and I was like, okay, I have an easier way to do sword, so I'm gonna do sword. <sighs> we'll leave so shield to Jonas. Jonas can just exclusively have shield. He had a grand old time there, definitely, most definitely, and that's just what's gonna be. So, obviously, English. Um, also, uh, I always choose the first, the back right character, so that's what it is. Uh. Also, I need to make sure that you can't see the mouse, which you cannot. Also, it's asking for my name, and you guys can't see that. Um, why? That was weird. Okay. I was expecting... Does that mean that every time I freaking nickname a Pokemon, y'all won't be able to see it? Because it just literally, like, does not record it. Because Yuzu's like, you're typing in personal information. That's okay. Like, yeah, my name is so personal, guys. It's the most personal thing ever. But, yeah. So, I need to go over some rules, as Chairman Rose likes to say. Hi, I'm here. I exist. Welcome, one, and welcome, all, to the wonderful world of Sword and Shield, where I'm going to get absolutely destroyed. But it's fine, because um, I really don't know. But <laughs> I'll tell you in a second. Our beloved Galar region is a wonderful place thriving in nature beautiful cities and many pokemon that can destroy your life which is where we share our lives and as you know our society is able to thrive with our little cute honestly this is one of the cutest pokemon ever okay just saying yes there's pokemon all around us yes there is uh over 600 of them actually because again i need to shout out timmy Timmy helped figure out a way to get the other game, other like 200 or something Pokemon into the game. Also, damn, it's, this game is loud. Hi. Um, well, hopefully you guys can hear me the entire time. I just turned down the thing. Um, so that is back to where it's our normal levels. But yeah, so Timmy helped me get uh, the other like 200 or something Pokemon in this game, which means that there's going to be freaking lovely two versions of uh, the Kanto birds two versions of other things cub foo you're a shifu all the lovely stuff that can come up and destroy me so thank you timmy for helping me out those of us that choose to raise and train pokemon battle and compete we call them pokemon trainers yes and i have no idea what pokemon i have but it's fine i because i am recording this the day before you guys get to kill three pokemon Woo! But yeah, it's fine. It's okay. But yeah, so why is this game going to destroy me more than anybody else? Well, it might be because I forced every gym leader to have a Dynamax Pokemon that's Dynamax level 10. Uh, the Force Fully Evolved Cap is level 36, which might happen to be the fourth gym in its entirety. Um, I'm not allowed to get any Pokemon that I can see, so it's only exclamation points. So that way I can scream and shout and let it all out. But yeah. So yeah. So that's that's why I'm going to die. Um, <laughs> uh, each important trainer is forced to have six Pokemon and all the other rules apply. Um, so yeah. So that's why I'm going to get destroyed in this game. Uh, the 15% level boost exists. So this MF right here is going to have level 74 Pokemon. Because of course, why not? You know? Why not have level 74 Pokemon for a champion? Honestly, is that our highest level champion? I actually think it is. Speaking of Dynamax, here's our Dynamax level 10. Also, he Gigantamaxes this Pokemon, and uh, it's kind of oof. Like, if he didn't die Gigantamax this, it would be so much better. I'm not even going to lie. Not even going to front. It would be so much better if he didn't Dynamax it. But, 
Also, I didn't realize that controller rumble existed, so I'm hearing my controller rumble in my lap, like, right next to some sensitive areas, and you're just like, oh, that feels weird. <laughs> Anyways, hi, Mr. Hopadoodle. Yes, honestly, he's going to be called Mr. Hopadoodle the entire playthrough. I'm sorry. He's a cute pet name. It's fine. It's whatever. He, de he deserves his cute pet name because he's just... That's what he is, honestly. He's just a pet. He, you kill him, you murder him, and you destroy him. And he's like, oh my god, I'm so happy you did that to me. And I'll be like, yes, uh, this is what I want Travis to do, uh, but it's fine. Hi, hi. <clears throat> I mean, Shady would work too, but I didn't have the breath for it. Because <laughs> oh, god. <clears throat> okay, I was joking, guys. I definitely... That sucked. Anyway. Oh my god, is that your new phone? Oh, it's the LG G6. Wow, I cannot believe it. I can't believe you're watching Lee's exposition match on it. Dude, I like how I pulled out my LG G8. And I'm like, it's the G6, guys. No, it's not. Okay. Anyway, you know the only way to properly cheer Lee on would be doing his famous Charizard pose. Charizard. Time to send me a picture of the famous Charizard pose. I got the John pose already on lock. Now I need a Charizard pose. <laughs> hey, mother. Hop, I didn't expect to see you today. Dear, isn't this the big day? Yeah, that's exactly why I was coming over to get John. Uh, we need to get our Pokemon together. Honestly, I just see Hop as one of my friends, like one of my friends, JJ. And I'm just like, oh. Okay. Like, let's do it. Honestly, <laughs> why not? Anyway, I got to hit. I, I've got it recording on at home anyway. I record all of my brother's matches so I can see him win every single time because it definitely makes me feel good about myself. Come join me. You should be here any minute. And Lee brings presents when he visits, so I wouldn't forget the bag if I were you. Now I've got to run. Okay. I mean, why would I? Why? Why would I expect him to give me presents though? Can I? Can? Can? He, why? I, I don't want to expect him to give me presents. I just want to like talk to him because he's hot. But. Um, what? What did I say? Nah, I didn't say anything. It's fine. We're gonna go get our backpack. And totally disregard mom. <laughs> we're like, hi mom, you exist, and we're gonna go, because we have other conversations with you later. I mean, you kind of heard what I said under my breath. It's fine. Ah. Uh... Here, open, how do you use your adventure guide? So do we have, we don't have Pokeballs yet. No, we don't. Okay, cool. Wait, do we? No, we already have our potions, though. Mom's like, you need healing. And she's not wrong, because we're going to die so many times. Moms always keep you prepared, okay? Can't even fault them. Hey, what are you going to say to me, actually? Oh, don't look. Oh, don't you look like a treat. I knew that bag would suit you. Now hurry along. Hop is waiting, isn't he? But remember, no going into the forest, the two of you. Well, we're going to add directly to the bayou. It's fine. I would not, but, you know, the game makes me so... It's, it's fine. It's so okay that this game makes me disobey mom. Because, you know, definitely not something I don't like at all. Wait, not something I don't like at all. Yeah, that works. It's, it's, I don't like disobeying. So, yeah, that, that does work. Okay. I'm like, I hope that worked. But I'm not sure if it worked. Oh, look. Maybe we can get a big Snorlax or something. Wooloo's trying to enter the gate. I know, Wooly. Uh, I want you to join my team, too, but Hop steals you like a butt nugget. I want my Wooly, okay? It's my Wooly. Nobody else is Wooly. It's my Wooly. I need a Wooly. I need a Wooly in this playthrough, okay? Like, if I don't get a Wooly in this playthrough, I will be mad. Because Wooly is lovely. I know he won't have Cotton Guard and Body Press and all the stuff. Also, every time I hit my uh, counter, I have... There's an Ember Mug uh, in front of me. I keep... Actually, oddly... Stupid reason why this Ember Mug is in front of me. But I keep it for centering reasons so that I can center myself in the camera. <laughs> Dumb reason to have an Ember Mic on my, like... Or Ember, like, Mug on my counter. But, you know... Any item would work, but the Ember Mug is just big enough to where it actually works in that regard. And if I ever want coffee or tea, I can use it. So it works. It is a dual purpose thing. Anyways, you know, it's fine. You guys didn't need to know that I, my center centering piece is literally a mug. But technically, it was also for my camera to sit there. But with the new tripod, it actually broke my display. 
So that didn't work very well. Um, <laughs> it's it's whatever. So that so they have my cameras on the side, but it was literally it was supposed to just line up so I'd be looking at you guys the entire time. What they like? It, I had a whole ass plan. Did it work? No. Also, excuse the language, but it happens. Oh, I love that mat. Can I have the mat? Can I have that mat? Dude, Travis Kelsey and Shady would just be glitching on that mat. I'd, I'd lay down on that every day. Dude, I don't care what surprises would happen along the way. Surprise me. I don't care. <laughs> Bowser? I don't know. Uh, whatever. There you are. Last hop. Oh my gosh. Oh, you brought along John. Hello, dear. Yes, yes. But where's Lee? Have you got him crammed up in a cupboard? I mean, wouldn't you, though? He's still not here for the hundredth time. Honestly, Hop, you must learn patience. Honestly, somebody else I know must learn that, too. It's almost like the person that I related this to. He's probably only arrived at the station in Wedgehurst. Then that's where I'm going. You know Lee is hopeless with directions. I'll make sure he doesn't get lost along the way. Oh, will you? Yeah, that's probably for the best. You've got to come too, John. You've still never met my big bro, right? I mean, uh -huh, if I just saw him on the TV. What? How would I have not met my best friend's brother? I guess there's a lot of ways for me not to, I guess. I mean, what's the age difference? That's the, that's the question of the day. What is the age difference? Oh my god, I just asked that question. Okay. Yeah, yep, yeah, I asked the question and I shall answer that. Oh no, why am I doing this? How old is Leon from Pokemon? gym challenge at the tender age of 10 years old and even more so for claiming victory in the champion cup on his first attempt uh heck he's not guys he's not 10 years old no 10 year old looks like that there's how old is he actually give me an actual age not 10 years old bro it doesn't give you one no we'll never know the answer oh my gosh what there's no way! He doesn't have a canon age! Bro! No! <laughs> He's probably like 17 or 18, which is weird. But, I mean, that's possible. That's actually possible ages. I mean, maybe that's why I haven't seen him. Because I'm literally however old I am in the game. I sad that we don't get to know the answer to this, but route one. Can we just go this way? I want to go this way. No wandering in the tall grass. You don't have a Pokemon yet. What would have happened if I would have actually put my three Pokemon in there? Like the three book, like what I've been actually able to see this. And then they, this whole entire thing is just skipped. Probably. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Good to know. Good to know that that's how I whistle Pokemon, because I can totally use that to my advantage, 100%. Actually, I might have to to avoid stupid Pokemon like that want to pop up out of nowhere. There's no way he's 18. He's He's got to be older than that. Right? I don't know. Hello, hello, Wedgehurst. Your champion is back. I'll promise to do my best and deliver the greatest of battles for you all to watch. It's our unbeatable champion, Leon. You and Charizard are the greatest. Well, thank you for that. I hope I'll carry on, tra carry on training up t your Pokemon and never shy from a battle. Then come challenge me to the champion title. We're on it. We've been working our battle skills just like you taught us, Lee. But Charizard of yours is too strong for the likes of us to take on. Hard work. Too true that Charizard is blazingly strong, but other Pokemon can be strong as well. That's why I wanted the strongest of challengers to fill my gym challenge and battle me. I wish for the Galar trainer to work together and become the strongest in all the world. 
Grow. Grow. Honestly, that was the deepest, like, I've ever probably gone. Lee, oh my gosh, hi, hop. How are you? So my number one fan in all the world has come along out of his way to come pick me up. Look at you, hop. I reckon you've grown exactly an inch and a quarter since I seen you last. Wow, you got a sharp eye. That's what's kept you undefeated for so long, eh? Ah, these bright eyes are over here. I got it. You must be John, am I right? I've heard loads about you from my little brother. I'm the Gellar's region's greatest Pokemon champion and a massive Charizard fan, too. I mean, I am, too. My best, One of my best friends actually has a Charizard icon. It's fine. People call me the unbeatable Leon. <sighs> well, let me go freaking grab my literally all my Pokemon that are super weak to your team right now. But it's fine. <laughs> well, I don't know because it's randomized. But come on, Lee. And you, John. I bet I can beat you both back to your back, but beat you both back home. That hop always wanted the best, isn't he? With proper rival of his own, I bet he'd push himself to become something, something truly special. Well, everyone, I bid you farewell today, but don't, but don't fret. I'll always make, I'll always be around to make everyone in Galar, so to make sure everyone in Galar can have champion a champion time. What? Okay, that doesn't make sense at all. But okay. You do you with your massive cape. Whatever, dude. So. Come on, Lee. You promised us a present, so out with it. Yeah, your my our present is that glitchy mat over there. Yes, I'd prefer glitchy mat over a, a Pokemon any day. It's fine. You brought John and me Pokemon, did, did you? Didn't you? I know you must have. Right then, the greatest gift from the greatest champion. I'll show you every what show you something, everyone. Or it's showtime, everyone. I can't read today, I'm sorry. Take a good look, you two. We have all three of our Pokemon. We have the Reggie Gigas. We have a Pikachu and a Leafeon. I don't know what order they're in, I'll be honest. But I wanna say that eight whatever eight which one's 813? Is that Score Bunny? Because it's in the order, uh, whatever order it is. I want to say it's it's Regigigas, Leafeon, and uh, Pikachu. I guess we'll find... We can find... Oh, we can't find that out because then it would create a save file with that and everything. That would be bad. So, yeah. So, that is your starter choices, you guys. You have the choice of Regigigas. All right. Line up, everyone. They'll take their place and we'll figure it out. Okay. I think that confirms the order of what's here. Which one will you choose? I don't know. Which one will you guys choose, chat? Because I got to save my game um, right here. And then I got to add all the other Pokemon that I got. So, go on. Pick with... I've already got Wooloo. Pick your first Pokemon. I already have a Wooloo. Oh, yeah. So, you have Regigigas right here. You have Leafeon right here. And then you have Pikachu right here. I know that it won't let you, like, do things, like, because it doesn't let you back out. You can't say no, which is a dumb addition in this game, by the way. I wish you could say no so I could actually show you that they're that, but whatever. It's fine. So, yeah, so go ahead and pick your Pokemon. Pick which one you guys want, because in the next episode, I'll be grabbing that and getting a lot of other stuff done. So, yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!